Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today we're talking about your success and what my office can teach you about it. Are you ready? Let's get started. About 20 years ago, I started creating a vision of the office that I wanted to have someday. Now at the time, my company was me, and my office was in my house, but I had this vision of an office that looked like this. There was a desk, and beside me was a fireplace, and I was surrounded by books, uh, built-in bookcases all around me, uh, and the walls were green. And I had this picture in my mind, and I was, it was very clear to me that this was the office that I wanted. And time went on, and every so often that picture would, would recur to me, but for many of those years, I wasn't looking for office space uh, or anything like that. Then as my team started to grow, we started to think about office space, and I made the decision that I wanted to buy a house uh, rather than renting office space. So uh, my wife, Lori, and I started looking at houses, and we came upon the house that I'm shooting video from today, Remarkable House. And after we'd been here, when we first bought this house, the room that we're in that is now our studio was the room that I thought would be my office. There happened to be a fireplace right here. Uh, but my team and my wife said, that's not where you want to be because on the other side of the camera, there is the kitchen. They said, Kevin, you can't have your office there. Don't do that. Well, upstairs, there were four sort of bedrooms and uh, there was a decision made to tear out one of the walls in the between the master bedroom and this other room. And they said, that, Kevin, should be your office. So by the way, when we bought this, I wasn't thinking I had to do much work, but instead we pulled up carpet, redid hardwood floor, took out a wall upstairs, and that became my office. Here's the rest of the story. About a week after I was in my office, I was sitting at my new desk. And while the fireplace wasn't right next to me, it was across the room from me and I could see, see it. And all around the room at the far end were bookshelves full of my books. And there were books behind me on my credenza. And I got chills because it was very, very close to the picture I had in my, in my mind all those years ago. The major difference, blue walls. And guess what? I picked the paint. Here's the point. Why do I tell you that story? Well, I tell you that story because that story has an awful lot to do with your success. Because you see, this, there are some steps that I took that you can take too that will lead you to greater success in any endeavor, as a leader, as a human, uh, as a parent, whatever. So what are those steps? Here are the things I want you to think about. Number one is get crystal clear. Don't just have a, a picture. You have a crystal clear picture of what you want. Desk, fireplace, bookcases, etc. A crystal clear picture. Write it down. I had it written down. My perfect, perfect office will have this, 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 and this. You need to really see it. Now, in this case, it was easy to see because the way I described it was a visual image. But whatever your goal is, you need to really be able to close your eyes and see it, whatever it is. Whether it's you finishing a mini marathon, whether it's having a new office, whether it's getting married, it doesn't matter what it is. It's the new job, whatever it is, see it clearly. Notice the word vision has a lot to do with this. And then lastly, and maybe most importantly of all, is you got to take action. See, if I had never gone out and seen a realtor, I'd never gone out and looked at houses, wouldn't have mattered now, would it? So, uh, most people miss one or more of those steps. Either they don't have a very crystal clear picture or they do those things and never take action. You got to do all four of those things. You do all four of those things. If you will get a crystal clear picture, if you will write it down, if you will visualize it and really see it in reality, in your reality, and if you will take action on it, you do those four things, you will achieve far more than you ever thought possible. I encourage you to do exactly that. Let's, let's close with today's tweet. Secret to success. Plant a crystal clear goal in your mind, then go to work. As a leader, make sure you have goals. And as a leader, make sure you apply the things we talked about today to the goals you have with your team, and you'll find greater success. Do you struggle to provide feedback and coaching to underperformers and problem employees? Is change hard for you to implement, draining the motivation and focus of your team? Do you struggle to communicate effectively with the diverse and sometimes challenging personalities within your organization? If you are a leader looking for a chance to learn more in a supportive and collaborative environment, this is your chance. 
The Remarkable Leadership Workshop is a powerful two-day learning experience that combines proven, practical approaches with the chance for peer interaction to help you master effective leadership. If you're serious about your future and you're ready to learn how to communicate more assertively, delegate more effectively, and lead more successfully, join us for an upcoming session. Click on the link below to learn how you can become the leader you were born to be.